guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new please hit that subscribe button like and comment and let's get right into this video so i'm going to start off with a little nail prepping by pushing back my cuticle with my cuticle pusher So since I've already cut my cuticles, I can go straight into gluing on my nail tips. And these nail tips I showed in my nail haul video that I got from Amazon. And now I'm just cutting off the top of the nail tip so that it can fit to my natural nail better when I'm gluing them on. And now I'm just using my KDS glue to glue on the tips. So for this set, I wanted it to be extra long um, nail set. So I just go in with my nail uh, tip cutter and just cut a little bit off the end. And now I'm just going in with my 100 grit nail file to reshape the sides and blend in the tip to my natural nail. And after I'm done filing, I go in with my nail dehydrator, which uh, takes away any of the natural oils and the um, Young Nails primer to make the gel, um, the base gel adhere better. And they both uh, prevent lifting. Here I'm going in with my base gel and curing that for 60 seconds. So for today's set, I'm going to be using um, poly gel from Beatles in the color light pink and i actually like um beetles poly gel it has a great consistency and it works really well And now I'm just adding one bead to each nail. And for the pinky, I just added a little bit too much poly gel. So I used the leftover and put it on my ring finger, as you guys can see. And I'm just adding a little bit more poly gel. And as you guys know from watching my previous videos, I don't like to add um, too much poly gel because I don't like my nails to be on the thick side. I like them to be on the thinner side. And when you have thin nails, it's okay um, as long as you have a C-curve because that C-curve structure will give it support so it will not break and last longer.
now that i'm done adding the poly gel to all my nails this is the outcome looks pretty good and i'm just going in with my 100 grit nail file and shaping the sides And now I'm just using my 180 grit sanding bin. I'm going to use it around the cuticle area and the entire nail to shape the nail. Weak strands, not on our watch. Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength with Castor Oil and Ginger is a true miracle. 15 times stronger hair and visibly less breakage. We're not just strong, we're goddess strong. Carol's Daughter, the bond is real. At City Mattress, you'll create the sleep sanctuary of your dreams. During the Labor Day sale, you'll save on all of it. City Mattress is your source for the best of Tempur-Pedic. Shop today and save up to $700 on adjustable mattress sets. Or select the comfort of Stearns and Foster and save up to $800 on adjustable mattress sets. Get interest-free financing, free delivery, and service. <laughs>
and now this is how the cat's eye look with that magnet gel looks much better in person you can't really see that shine through the camera but now i'm just choosing which purples that i wanted to use and i just wanted to use two purples and the white um for this nail design now i was trying to um do like this purple nail design that i saw on instagram with like some squares and boxes like they added the lines first and then went across with the squares but i just could not get this um set like for me this was this design was so difficult i just could not get it so you'll see me trying and then i just gave up and you'll see what i do next So here's a picture of the set that I was trying to do, the design, and maybe I was out of my league, but guys, I could not get it at all. Like, I tried so hard for so many hours trying to figure out the process. Like, I end up, you know, I did blend um, the colors together and did try to make the square, but it just, it could not, it did not work for me. I just, I couldn't get it um it was coming out ugly and like i said i am a perfectionist and if i didn't like the way it looked even if it looked somewhat similar i still just didn't like the outcome of it so um you'll see i tried um for a while i i tried for a while trying to do this making the lines then blending them but um i cut the me trying part out because like i said it took me so long to try to figure it out and i still didn't get it so um you'll see that i just ended up covering it up but if you guys have any tips um to help me to figure out to the to do that design i would love to try it in the future
putting the lines. Like I said, guys, I just gave up. Um, because I'm a perfectionist, it was just not coming out how I wanted to, to come out. Um, so I just added the cat's eye to both the nails instead and I just added some bling and this is the final set guys I'm just gonna add some cuticle oil for my cuticles and let me know what you guys think um, obviously this ended up being a cat's eye set instead but I like it I like I said I like this gel polish a lot um, the shine comes out so pretty it reminds me of like a galaxy almost you know if you were doing a galaxy set i would definitely recommend this as the base and then make some lines or some stars on top of it but yeah let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time